Uh, I'm Tony Cordero from Space One Networks in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, and one of the things that I wanted to talk about today, or tonight, hopefully nobody's going to be offended by it, but it's the uh, what we've affectionately referred to as the GeoHerd, uh, the GeoNerd community actually. I'm not really sure how to really define it other than to say it's the social network uh, that we all are a part of, even by being here tonight. Um, it was inspired, really, by this book by uh, Nicholas Christakis and James Fowler, essentially uh, detailed and researched the uh, underlying power and influence that social networks had on us and that we have on those social networks. <coughs> the premise is, obviously, that, that the networks affect us and we affect them. So, uh, to the extent that we are friends directly, and I'm not just talking about our online social networks, but real social networks, but if somebody that we're friends with is overweight, if they drink, if they smoke, if they vote Republican, chances are they're going to influence us to do the same. We're going to be overweight, we're going to drink, we're going to smoke, we're several times more likely than the average person. Same way we can affect our networks, if we eat healthy, uh, if we jog, we're going to affect those networks. This is made in, uh, possible in part by this notion called homophily. What is it? It's simply just the love of being alike. It's not new. It's not revolutionary, you're not learning anything you didn't learn in kindergarten. Birds of a feather flock together. That's what it means. So we're all here tonight, that's an evidence of that. So it's an interesting concept to me about, not just in social network theory, but about this community, this geo-nerd community, right? So uh, it's important, everybody's heard of the six degrees of separation, but really what matters is three degrees of influence. So your friend, their friends and their friends' friends is about the extent of your influence in a social network. And how that matters is, or why that matters is because, what we'll see in a minute, is that your ability to be impacted by or impact someone you'll never meet, wouldn't have had a chance to meet, to me that's exciting and, and that has a big impact on our community. So for example, power of influence. If I go register to vote, and then I go vote, the chance that someone in my, uh, in my social network, I'm going to motivate three people to go register to vote. Okay, so that, think about that for a second. The power of my influence of doing that. So the decision that I make to vote is more powerful than my vote because I'm motivating three other people to go do the same thing. The fact that they're in my social network via homophily means that they're likely to vote the same way that I would. So, for us in the GeoHerd, if we're contributing to OSM, if we're checking in with Foursquare or Gwala, or if we're using desktop GIS to make beautiful maps or contributing to open source, the chances are we're going to influence somebody like a, a direct friend. We're going to influence them to do those kinds of things, or we're going to be affected by them if we're associating with them. But it gets better. We're going to influence their friend's friend, our, our friend's friend, right? So there's this second degree of influence. So we're going to be out there, we're going to be talking about it, we're going to be using the technology, that's going to influence our friend, and by virtue, their friends. So the, the sphere of influence is, is expanding geometrically. It gets even better. Now we're at three degrees of separation, or three degrees of influence, and so the friend's friend of a friend is going to then be influenced by our decision whether we use one Twitter client or another, whether it was Foursquare or Goala. That's, that's important to me in, in the way I look at uh, our community, and I think it's pretty exciting with the advent and the pervasiveness of smartphones all around the world, all the devices that we saw earlier in the presentation, combined with this social network effect, this three degrees of influence, it's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting right now. Um, as new geo nerds become, become uh, more involved in that geo herd, right? Somebody that's a friend of a friend of a friend that suddenly gets turned on to all this technology, they become then the center of gravity for their three degrees of influence, which constantly expands the geometric shape of the geo herd, right? It's constantly expanding at an ever increasing rate. Obviously, it will come to an end when everybody on the planet is part of that geo herd. So, there's something that we need to be aware of, though, is that the geo herd, the geo network, if you will, influences us as well. It comes back to us in the opposite direction. So, if we're influenced by somebody that we don't know, a friend of a friend of a friend, that's using Foursquare, but we like Walla, well, are we going to end up changing maybe and, and be influenced in that direction? Doesn't matter. Just lean into it. Adopt it. Embrace it. Use it. It's a very exciting time. We have people around the world that never really cared about mapping or navigation or understanding location. 
they're getting on, they're helping respond to earthquakes and tsunamis, and they're contributing in ways that they wouldn't have imagined it. And that's pretty exciting, at least to me. So, thanks.